What's up guys, today we're here with the Potenzik D80 GPS drone. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia is taking a nap and Popeye is back home. We're here at a new location today to fly the Potenzik D80. A friend of ours at the airfield, Josh, a great helicopter pilot, offered his field to fly in and we thought this would be the perfect way to explore the area with a what should be a very trustworthy brushless GPS camera drone. It's called the Potenzik D80, completely ready to fly and available on Amazon. We'll have it linked in the description box below. You guys know the drill. If we like what we see while it's in the air, we'll show you everything that comes in the box at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and fly this. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna try the auto takeoff, but I think you gotta unlock the motors. A little grass Some there, grass. A little grass. Let's stop that. All right, let's try this again. Had a little grass, common issue, and throttle up. No problem. As long as the motors are spinning okay like that, then. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Now, we got a little bit of drift going, and I think that's just because it might not be in GPS mode, so let me throw it over to B. That car that just drove by is the wife of the couple that are letting us fly and here. So that's, that's Josh. Josh is on the mower, that's right. <laughs> so, I have a little switch on my transmitter underneath the throttle side, um, A and B. And so A is to turn the GPS off, which is kind of cool if you wanted to fly without it. And then B is to turn it on, so I just turned it on. With a little breeze, it's holding really well. Now you guys probably noticed in the intro, and if you've seen this drone on Amazon or anywhere else, it is a Bugs knockoff, okay? It's a Bugs knockoff, and Esheen I think makes a version of this too now. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm sure that Potenzik is kind of making a name for themselves, and this is a great drone, so I have full expectations for this to be a really good drone. I'm just gonna fly up and away. Get a cool little video shot for you guys. If you all like this space, thank Josh in the comments. Yeah. He, uh, he'll probably watch this video. I'd so say so. He'll read the comments. He'll see himself on the mower there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you. To keep all this mowed. Thank you very much, Josh. This is nice of you. So, where he's mowing, I think that he does that kind of as a favor for someone. But over here, this strip of grass along the road, this shouldn't be a very heavily used road. Uh, he mows, and I guess he flies out of a paraglider, like a powered yeah, parachute. Crazy. He takes off and lands from this spot, with believe it or not, <laughs> with all these trees it. around. Let's go out here because see where he has it mowed uh, shorter at the end of all of this? <clears throat> I think about there, where it opens up more. He said we have access to that too, and so we might even try an airplane or two here. The only issue is that trailer that you guys can see right now. It would be the only place in the way, but it's probably hard to see from here, but they have uh, like poles out front with airplanes at the top of them. So they love aviation. So I think they would love to see us fly if we yep. did. So we might have to try an airplane. Abby, Abby just recently picked one out for herself. I did. It just showed up yesterday. Yep. So maybe we'll get that. I'm gonna get it built. They might be, might wanna fly that one at the airfield first just because you might not be used yeah. to the tight quarters. But anyway, it'd be a good one for this spot. Yep. So I'm flying this drone confidently and not even really talking about the drone so much because I kinda knew it was gonna be a good drone. You can just tell the build quality, the material, material it's made out of and the fact that it is a copy of an already successful drone or just a rebrand of it we know we're in good hands so we're just kind of hovering around here see how Josh is doing over there I, I do wish in this kind of situation that we had maybe a, uh, the ability to tilt the camera up and down because right now I could tilt down and then see Josh how's your signal signals okay uh, as I rotated it said it was disconnected there for a second but there this, we're standing right in front of that barn. You guys can probably see us. So this is a good camera drone. It's a really good GPS camera drone. We have all kinds of telemetry on screen on our phone and on the transmitter. Uh, you can see we have 16 satellites connected. We're 24 meters high, 106 meters out, and we're flying in mode two. It tells us our battery and the transmitter and battery on the drone. So that's very nice. And we also have <clears throat> all kinds of things we can do within the app. So maybe we should do the follow me, Abby. Let's bring the drone back in. Okay. I'm gonna fly kind of fast here, just bring it in full speed so you guys get an idea. It's a, how white, fast it can it's a white drone on a white Yeah, sky, it's hard for you guys so. to see on that. <laughs> Woo! 
they'll try to follow me with all, even with all these trees around here. Now there's no collision detection or anything, so you got to be aware of that when you're flying this. I'll bring it in a little closer so everybody can see a cool shot of the, uh, the drone itself. Nice. Yeah. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. And there's a shot of us. The camera quality is good. We have a micro SD card on the drone itself, plugged into it. Uh, class 10, of course. I think we're just using a 16 gig. Uh, it might actually fill up on one flight. I recommend a bigger, bigger memory card. Nah, probably not. Probably a couple flights at least. But uh, yeah, there it's getting brighter now. And the camera itself is adjusting to that as it gets brighter. It's a really good drone. Sometimes people are afraid of shopping on overseas websites. Maybe you had a bad experience or something. Hey, if that's the case, I don't blame you. And you're dedicated to Amazon only. Or maybe you pay for Amazon Prime and you only want to shop on Amazon. Well, this would be a good time to get that drone. You are going to pay a little bit more for it, but you get a good return policy. And Potenzik does have pretty good customer service on Amazon, so that's good to know. Spare part availability is good because this is same drone as the uh, Bugs drone and you know like props and that kind of thing and batteries. Battery availability is awesome too. On top of that it's a common battery connector type. It's an XT30 battery connector type so you really don't have to worry at all about uh, finding batteries for this drone. So that's also a good thing too. Are you going to test follow me? Yeah I am. I know I'm getting distracted. Where are you going? I'm going to make it follow me out this way. Okay. So, just trying to get it lined up a little bit. And within the app, I should just hit the little follow me icon. And I'll say yes. And hopefully it doesn't adjust too far back. It looks like it's <laughs> done. Come on, man. Follow me, buddy. There it goes. It's trying, it's trying. It's going now. There it goes. Took a second for it to like get going. Nathan out there. Here it's going. Not a lot of space right here to do something like follow me, but it's doing a pretty good job. At least it went out to the right and didn't stay on the tree line. <laughs> Hit some trees. We thought you guys need a change of view, a change of scenery. So we came here. Josh is just hard at work back there with the mowing, so it's a good little spot. Seem to work. Yeah, it's working really well. It's a funny mic. Look, watch this. I'm going to show you guys a magic trick. It works really well. I sound great. It works really well. I don't sound great. <laughs> Special mic that we have here. Special mic. I mean, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, it's called a shotgun mic, and it works well pointing in one direction, not the other. So we do that to help with wind and loud noises like the mower down there. So if Abby were to point the mic at the mower, it'd be super loud, but this is not quite as loud. So anyway, follow me worked really well. I was very happy with that. Uh, let's turn the follow me off. And now we're just back into normal control. Now that we have a circle me function, like a point of interest. And I would do that, but it's not super open here, and I'm afraid I would hit these trees. And then of course we have functions like return to home as well. See all the telemetry on top of the yeah, screen? Awesome. It's, it's just such a good, and I think we have waypoints as well, which we I would probably test those at the airfield, but I'm just not super comfortable with that here yet, unless I saw. This is our first time flying. First time here. flying here. I just want to be careful and safe. Yeah, I just, I know you guys have a screen recording. I just pulled up the map. But I don't, I just have a grid line right now, so maybe bad service here or something. I'll pull the video screen back up. Would you like to fly this? You're pretty comfortable uh, just being the camera girl? You yeah. You're tired, aren't you? I am. Well, you kept me up last night. Yeah. <laughs> I've yawned like five times. Well, I want to, I want to fly this out and then I want to do a return to home. But what I'll do is actually fly it pretty far out because I want to see more of that field over there anyway, just out of my own yeah. curiosity. You're like a nine minute flight time now. Hey, it's a, it's a great, this is just a good drone. I mean, as I said, you're going to pay a little bit more for it buying the Potenzik version on Amazon, but it also is kind of unique looking too. And look, see, there's that, there's that field on top about I really mm -hmm. I really so do cool. want to come back here with a plane and see how I do might end up in a tree Josh <laughs> says he flies here though so he can fly a paraglider I feel I like feel. I should be able to do an RC <laughs> plane <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah look at that and we're that also kind of testing so cool. the range a little bit here too 
keep in mind we're pretty far away from like service towers and stuff. Uh, it looks like we're 161 meters away and our video feed may have locked up a little bit. It froze there for a minute but we're back now so I wouldn't fly more than maybe 150 meters away. Maybe if, you have, if you're up on a hill and you have a clear shot you could fly a little farther away but this drone isn't meant to set any distance records or anything. Uh, it's just kind of a nice GPS drone. So let's hit. You want to hit return home on the transmitter or in the app? Uh, you pick. I'll do it in the app this time. So return to home and hit yes. And it's loading. It said time out. So uh -oh. hmm, yeah, let's. I want to give it just a second and then I'll hit it on the transmitter and see what happens. Let's see if it's moving. No, it is not. So let's hit it on the transmitter. I'll just short press it. And if that doesn't do it, then I will long press and try to get it to return. Oh, Abby, it's just out there over the tree line to the that last tree along that edge there. And I, oh, my I transmitter it, shows a return to home, so all you have to do is, yeah, it's going really fast, just booking it back here, kind of a beeline to where it took off, and it's going to probably loiter up there for just a second, and then it'll come down once it, I, and one reason I think it does that is so you can make sure it's clear underneath where it lands, but also it's probably like calculating hey, am I about where I took off? So, return to home, in this case, works a lot better than those toy grade drones. And I'm not touching any of these controls. Ever since I pressed that return to home button on the transmitter, I'm not pressing the controls at all. I would say we're landing within about three feet or so of where it took off. I'm getting a beep. Now that, I'm guessing that's a low battery beep that we're get, getting. So, it's, I'm gonna juice it up. Let's see. I don't want to take off again, so I want to unlock the motors and then juice it up. Whoa. I, had to, I had to clear that grass, sorry. <laughs> well, that was actually a good throttle punch, it wasn't was. it? I'm going to test it out here, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, throttle punch. It's not bad. It's good. It's not a bad climb. So that beep that you're hearing I know is the low battery warning, but <clears throat> From experience, I know that this beep kicks in. I think it's at 50% battery. Oh, jeez. I don't like that. And <laughs> I could hover this drone for another five, six minutes, flying it around this area with the beep in everyone's ears. But I don't think we really want that, do we? No. So what I'm gonna do is probably just go ahead and land and wrap this up. Guys, just know that this drone, the Potenzik D80, is a good drone. You can fly about 150 meters away. You can get about 10 minutes of flight without the beep when the beep kicks in, five or six more minutes. And it's completely ready to fly. It is completely ready to fly. Except the memory card. That's right, and you don't have to have a memory no. card. You can just save it to your phone or whatever, but you're gonna get a much better video quality by saving it to a card. And if you're wanting to save money, go for the Bugs version. Like, I'm not holding you back, but the Potenzik D80 is definitely worthwhile, so. Okay, sorry, my camera had to reset. That's okay, I'm gonna do this to help line up the shot. Yeah, let's just do a little, uh, I need to walk out here. It's, a, it's okay, Nathan, I'll get it when it lands. You're landing it, okay, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. Well, I think it's a good drone. Uh, the price is fair, although again, like I've said a couple times in the video, just a little higher than an overseas version. Are you going to show what comes in the box? And yeah, at the end of the video here, I'll show you guys everything else that comes in the box. We'll probably wrap this up at our house because we have some errand running to do and we'll be able to do this tonight when Amelia is asleep for good. So <laughs> it'll be easier to do that then. Uh, anyway, great drone. Got the beep, it's just the same. Basically, it's just a different, slightly different color scheme, and it's sold by Potenzik, but it's a great drone. Guys, it'll be linked in the description box below. If this seemed to hit the nail on the head for what you're wanting to buy, then definitely snatch it up. If you're very interested, stick around. We'll show you what comes in the box. As promised, we're here to show you everything that comes in the box, and forgive us, this is a, not our usual recording spot. Um, we just have some stuff going on. So. This is the drone, a nice close shot of it. It looks an awful lot like a Bugs drone because it basically is. It just has a different paint scheme and stuff going on it. Potenzik D80, I like. I like where they put that. It looks nice. It's a good quality look to it. Our fixed pitch camera is here in the front, a 1080p uh, camera. And then the battery slides into the back. You'll notice there's an XT30 plug there. That's a good thing because that means you can buy non-proprietary batteries if you want and plug them into that. Maybe just put a piece of tape 
over the end or something so the battery doesn't come out. Or you can take, you can even take this proprietary shelling off of here, it's just four screws holding that on, and put it in place of another battery of yours, if you like. Some guys have done that, they've taken this panel off of the battery, and then you put whatever battery you want in there and just snap that back on. So, nice little pro tip there. Or you can just buy the batteries and support the company if you want. It's a two cell LiPo, 1800 milliamp, and uh, pretty good flight time. I really like that a lot. The micro SD card slot on the drone is right here. And I love, I love the lights on here and just the whole startup process for a drone that doesn't have a power button, I think they do it right. What you do for the very first time that you turn your drone on to bind it together, you might have to have a pair of helping hands, but you hold the lock button, the red padlock, and you turn the switch on, and then you plug the battery in, and that'll bind it up for the first time. When you turn it on, the lights are gonna be blinking a certain way, and it's, it's ready for you to calibrate it. So you just rotate this a couple times, the lights will change, camera down, give it a couple more rotations, the lights will change again, then you set it on the ground, and it's ready to fly. I think it's a great process, it worked for the first time for me, and all these drones always work for the first time. The transmitter is great. It's obviously an MJX bug style transmitter, but it works well. Everything's labeled and it uh, does what it's supposed to when you press it. Even in the app, remember when we were flying, I pressed return to home and it didn't work, but the return to home on here did. So very good transmitter. Comes with this little USB charge cable to charge the main flight battery. And the way that works, kind of important for you guys to know this, I never really talk about it. That little balance lead comes out you plug it in, it charges. When you're ready to fly, you have to kind of tuck that wire back up in there to get it out of the way, and then you plug it in. We also have four spare props, not just the ones that are on there. Here's a phone mounting system. Abby's phone is too big for this, but a smaller phone will work. It just pops right onto the top of that. You just have to take that little rubber piece out. And then we have a Phillips screwdriver and a prop removing tool. It's a really nice tool. You can use it to help snug your props down or to loosen them. So. Uh, yeah, it's a good setup, guys. I highly recommend it. Really, almost didn't even need to show you all this stuff, but if it's a good drone, we want to take the time and show you everything so you really know what you're getting. This will be linked in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.